Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of the Mayor Spotlight, where we're headed around town talking to local businesses, highlight, highlighting local project sites to give you, the citizens, all the information on the great businesses and things that are happening in your community. Today, we're here at the YWCA with the Executive Director, Shannon sanderwell -Zine. Thank you for letting me come down and chat with you for a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, this is, is exciting. Um, we're going to highlight today uh, all the upgrades and the, and the wonderful things that you've had happening here at the YWCA recently. So I'll let you kind of take it away. All right. So, uh, yeah, we just are very proud to have completed a million dollars of uh, renovations recently, in large part due to the city of Clinton reaching out regarding a community development block grant that came available from the state of Iowa that came out of the pandemic. Um, and so our initial projects were um, COVID related. And so a lot of the projects that we picked out were due to um, wanting to reduce the spread of infection. So one of the items that we got updated are actually uh, the floors that we're standing on. Um, and how this redu uh, reduces the spread of infection is that we're e this is easier to clean than tiles. So tiles have um, the, the partitions. Um, so this is all one laid out piece of flooring that is um, you know, more seamless than tiles are and we're able to more readily clean it. And so we, through this project, did a lot of updates for flooring. So with this flooring, mm -hmm. our fitness center flooring, locker room flooring, um, we've updated the lockers in our uh, locker room, um, really nice plastic lockers and sort of the metal rusting um, that we had before. <laughs> yeah. um, we were able to do a renovation in our child care. That was a large part of the funding. Um, it's actually the child care that's in the historic portion of our building that was originally a carriage house and now is repurposed or was repurposed into our child care back in the 70s. And it was very much looking like the 70s in there. And now we've got, you know, our 2023 update. Um, we actually created a new door to the child care. So um, my kids are older now, but when, when they were little, I was carting in three kids with a, the um, tub here on your arm and having to cross the street here. Now we have an entrance at, um, what is that, our north, no, a southwest corner mm -hmm. for parents to just pull right up, bring their kids in, secure entrance, camera feature and fobs. Um, so we've really enhanced our security because of this. Have you had a lot of good feedback about that? Yeah, we really have. It's been great for parents. And like I said, to cross the street with all your kids, you know, yeah. and you know, working I do. out every morning, it's, yep. hard to, it's hard to make that walk around. Two the bags, block. two kids in yeah, the morning. It's yeah, tough. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, I think the parents are really liking it. We are as well. It, um, we do have extended care, child care that's open until 9 p.m. And so that's where all during the evenings when the numbers get a little bit lower, we go down into that new area. And then again, we're there right there at the curb for parents at 9 p.m. for a pickup. So sure. it's been working out really great. So um, we also were able to update our HVAC system. Um, and then we added, uh, it's called iWave, so it's air purification. So again, um, helping, hopefully mm -hmm. we don't have any more pandemics, right? But right. this will help reduce the spread of infection. Um, and then those new entrances as well, you know, we had back when the pandemic was ongoing, you know, we were worried about our seniors coming through and having access to the children. And so now with some different entrances that kind of will reduce um, people having cross having to cross paths. Um, so right. child care can stay in the child care area and health and wellness can be in the health and wellness sure. facility. And we also updated our pool doors. Um, so we had old metal doors yeah. that stuck on the floor. Um, and now <laughs> yep. we have beautiful glass doors that really enhance the lighting in there and make it so that um, families are able to kind of watch in the um, cooler space of our lobby, um, peek in at their kids um, at swim lessons. Um, I'm trying to think of, oh, we actually were able to um, restore the hardwood flooring in our uh, Lafayette Lamb building, so our historic YWSA building that was gifted mm -hmm. back to us in 1920 and then later served as a shelter for domestic violence and sexual assault victims um, uh, emergency shelter and transitional housing um, and then unfortunately when the state regionalized we had to close our shelter back in 2015 um, but the carpet was still there <laughs> <laughs> and that carpet remained with us until 2023 nice. so the the hardwood floors over in the, uh, the historic building look amazing um, and now we repurpose that space as offices so so I think that I think I hit everything, but hit I feel everything. like I might be missing a thing or two. But no. yeah, yeah. So we were able to leverage uh, the CDDG funding um, with other uh, grants, like uh, 
one we did a what the grow clinton what was our it was a spring for sprouts event that grow mm -hmm. clinton had for us where we raised some money for um, the child care and that's what i forgot um, we actually made an update to our commercial kitchen uh, which right. is our child care kitchen and then um, can also be used for other reasons um, like we could in the past we've had cooking classes and that kind of thing um, but that commercial kitchen mm -hmm. actually had some of the original cabinets from the home and still does because wow. we preserved a, a small <clears throat> section um, but we were able to do a major update to the commercial kitchen so that it's better better able to serve the um, large amount of meals yeah. that we put out each each day for the, the children in our care. Yeah, I, I think um, this is a great example of a, of a public-private uh, partnership with some grants and things and, and some different events and stuff like that. And then also, I think highlighting these are extremely important because the YWCA is not just a fitness center or it's not just a child care center. There's just so many programs that we don't have time to get into everything. But yeah, uh, I just think it's a it's a wonderful thing to see the upgrades because obviously you got to you got to keep the update, right? To yep, keep yep. the flair and keep everything no, going. No, absolutely. Right? We, you know, inherited a, a, a historic building, a very historic building <laughs> and a 70s building. And yeah. so there is a lot of up, upkeep for that. And so this came in really handy to get us, uh, you know, some things that we really, really needed that didn't have to come from operational funding. And so um, we really benefited from this time in history where there was some extra funding available to um, fund these types of projects. So Awesome. Yeah. So to, to end it here, if you're, uh, I don't know if you're full on the child care, but if you're looking for child care, yeah. if you're looking for a fitness center, if you're looking for some other services and things like that, where can they go to yeah, kind of get absolutely. that information? Yeah, absolutely. Well, stop by. Um, we do have a buzzer system now at the front desk, so you do have to buzz. That was part of the updates. Um, we're a little have a little bit more secure access, but stop by, buzz at the front desk. We'll let you in and come on in, and you can. Um, everybody gets a free pass to come and try out fitness classes. Right behind us is our new fitness on demand. Um, so if there's not an active fitness class at the time you need, you can queue up a class on our fitness on demand any time of the day. You know, it could be a rowing class with a rowing machine or with a bike, bring in a couple of friends um, and do a workout together. Um, that's a brand new feature that we have. Um, and that, yes, we are absolutely enrolling in childcare right now. In the past, we've been full, but because we were under a renovation for the past, sure. it's probably been a year. We do have some openings right now because we just got um, the HVAC in the child mm -hmm. care and are able to actually um, have children in that space right now. So we instantly have um, some extra spaces right cool. now. So call us soon because they fill up fast. Um, but yeah, absolutely. We're, we got a lot of different things for, for different people and um, check us out and you can visit our website at ywcaclinton.org. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. That's a lot of good information. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, thank you. I appreciate you coming out. All right, that concludes this episode of the Mayor's Spotlight, and we will see you next time.